How to Create Self-Check-In and Check-Out Service Stations in Destiny. Pretty early in my career, I realized I needed help. I needed a self-checkout station and a self-check-in station. Might seem a little excessive, but if you have a full load of classes, as well as your media specialist duties and the duties of a non-existent library clerk, you need all the help that you can get. So if this sounds familiar to you, let me show you how to set this up for yourself and help make your job just a little bit more productive. I use the right side of my circulation desk as my check-in station. The kids scan their books here, they pop up on the screen, and then put them in the return bin here. There's signage to help if anybody needs help. And then here is my self service catalog station, and then self checkout. Only grades three, four, five, and teachers can use the self checkout stations. I did try it with second grade, and while some of them could do it pretty consistently, we had a lot of issues still. And so that's why it's third and up. Step one is to buy your scanners and set them up. I bought some cheap ones pretty early from Amazon, but they were too fragile and eventually broke. They needed a stand so they wouldn't be handled so much. And so I ordered the Easy Scan corded scanner kits from Destiny Express. They're a little more pricey, but they work perfectly with Destiny and I haven't had any issues with them. You can get to Destiny Express by clicking on the cart icon here that says shop at the top. When my scanners arrived, I used the included quick start guidebook to set them up. It was basically plug and play with a couple of other options like the volume of the beep of the scanner, which you can scan for your preferences. It was really easy. Step two is to create new access levels for both in and out. So here you can see my self check in and self check out access levels have been created. Go to admin, access levels, and then add access level at the bottom. For each access level, you're going to need to choose the features that you want that station to be able to access, keeping in mind that both students and faculty will be able to use it. I chose when the user is automatically logged out after this many minutes of inactivity, I chose the max 480. So far, it has not logged out. It's been perfect. Also, I wanted my self check in station to be able to use the catalog to check in, renew, view status, mark copies as lost, view finds and holds. Um, and you can find some other options here on the Patrons tab as well. It's used by teachers and students to just check in, but I needed to be able to access the other options so that I wouldn't have to bypass one computer in order to get to what I needed. So I wanted to be able to use it for whatever I needed it for if I was standing right next to it. It just made more sense. Now for out, I did the same thing, 480 for the inactivity minutes. And then under self-circulation access, I chose for it to reset the circulation tab after seven seconds. And I played around with the timing on this and seven was perfect for us. This means that the screen will automatically reset after seven seconds, which is enough time for most people with a few items to check out. If teachers have a lot of items to check out at once, I usually take them to the circulation desk so we don't have to rush. This way, student information won't stay on the screen for very long after they're finished and no one can check out after them on their account or see their information. Also for convenience sake, even though I have a dedicated catalog search station, sometimes we need more than one, especially if I have a fifth grade class and multiple students want to check the catalog at once. So I also gave this access level 
the power to search the catalog as well. And to check out by homeroom and renew library materials just in case we needed it. Step three is to add a patron account for self check in and self check out. This is how you'll log into those computers. My computers save the password automatically. And so it's real easy to log into them each day. First go to admin, then manage patrons, and then add new patrons. So you'll add two, self check in and self check out. For my accounts in self check in and self check out, I use the patron last names as self check in and self check out so that it would be easy to remember to match the um, login to the access level. So the username to log in is self check in. My patron is self check in and the access level is self check in. So you'll have to create a district ID, create a password, create a barcode number. It doesn't matter if it's student or faculty patron type. And then uh, make sure it's active. You don't need a homeroom. And then click Save. So next you'll need signage and procedures. I created signs for the self checkout steps and taped them to the top of the computers. Students have library barcodes taped to their shelf markers, which are paint stirrers, and they're arranged by class and grade level. Teachers have library cards in this little file box next to the self checkout computer. They'll both teachers and students scan their barcode, then they will scan their items. The computer automatically resets after seven seconds, as it was told to do in the settings. They don't even have to touch or move the scanner since it's on a stand. I also Velcro or rubber band my scanner to the stand because some people still want to grab it. And I just want to make sure they're not going to damage it. So when teaching students and others how to use the station, we need to remind them to verify their name and their books show up on the screen and that they hear those confirmation sounds. It can also help to share some of the common error messages they might encounter and what to do if they get one. So these are four um, messages that we get pretty often. And so student max checkouts reached, this one here. I ask them, did you bring your book back? And tell them to make sure that they've checked their books in and then try it again. Um, this copy is currently checked out to another patron. <clears throat> they need to check it in for that patron who forgot to do it, and then they can scan it for themselves. When a patron has an overdue fine, um, then they go to the circulation desk so that I can make sure that they can get another book or not, because a fine counts as one book. And so if they are only allowed two, then um, that one fine would be one book. And so I'd have to override it so they could get another one. You can uncheck this box in access level options if you prefer not to get this message at all or not to require an overdue um, fine override. You might also get a message that they've reached their max renewal limit. Just verify that the book is on the screen. They probably just scanned it too many times in a row. So even with the possibility of errors to check on, having self-service stations for returning and checking out books is still a huge time saver and completely worth doing.